for Consumer Confidential with KTLA's David Lazarus. Yep, he's joining us here in the studio. Those numbers went up today. They did go up. Now, there was some back and forth, which is interesting, but the key story today, bargain hunting. We anticipated that after all of these losses we've seen in financial markets, sooner or later the bargain hunters would come out looking for good stocks at fire sale prices, and today that seems to have been the case. Now, the interesting backstory here is that we saw the Dow go up by more than 400 points, but then pull back a little while ago after Federal Reserve Chief Jerome Powell made it real clear to the markets that he is prepared to be very aggressive in raising interest rates inflation under control. That spooked people a little bit because higher rates could slow the economy, perhaps even plunge us into a recession. But then cooler heads prevailed and then it was back to bargain hunting. And that's why the Dow ended up over 400 points at the close. Nevertheless, we have seen six straight weeks of losses for the S&P 500. That is the longest such span in more than a decade. And that shows you how fragile the markets have become. Also, in the 11 o'clock hour, we talked about how Walmart reported a a quarterly sales result that was lower than expected, its stock went down 11% today. All right, one investor, though, boldly going where many others uh, have already gone. Nice. I like that. We're talking about Warren Buffett here. And Buffett, obviously the legendary investor, has bought, or through his company Berkshire Hathaway, has bought 69 million shares of Paramount Group. That's a stake worth $2.6 billion, and it makes Buffett one of the largest outside shareholders in Paramount and its various other businesses. Now, Warren Buffett is someone who a lot of investors try to emulate and watch. And one of the lessons he has always said for many years is buy companies that make products that you use. That's a good yardstick for saying that this company has value. So what do we glean from this? That uh, he likes Paramount more than others? Well, one uh, value proposition here is the new streaming service Paramount Plus, which according to the company now has about 40 million subscribers, seems to be doing pretty well and is going to try and give Netflix, Hulu and all the rest a real run for the money. Warren Buffett seems to like what he sees. And I make, have to wonder, does that make Warren Buffett a Trekkie? Now, Paramount ah. Plus is heavy into Star Trek in a big way. Is Buffett a Trekkie? And moreover, since we have seen Stephen Hawking in an episode of Star Trek, is there room for Buffett in an episode? Mm. Maybe as a Ferengi investor. Thank you very much. Great idea. <laughs> I bet he's a little fan. Uh, maybe a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Trekkie or not, he's now a movie mogul from Omaha, Nebraska. He sure is, as they all are. Yes. Thank you. All right. Thank you, David.